Second Sunday in Ordinary Time, January 17th, 2010. May all the earth give you worship and praise and break into song to your name, O God Most High. Psalm 66, verse 4. Father of heaven and earth, hear our prayers and show us the way to peace in the world. First reading, Isaiah chapter 62, verses 1 to 5. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her vindication shines out like the dawn and her salvation like a burning torch. The nation shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory. And you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord shall give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be termed forsaken and your land shall no more be termed desolate. But you shall be called, My delight is in her, and your land married. For the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a young woman, so shall your builder marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 96. Declare the marvelous works of the Lord among all the peoples. Declare the marvelous works of the Lord among all the peoples. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations. His marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. For he is to be revered above all gods. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He will judge the peoples with equity. Second reading, 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11. Brothers and sisters, there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the discernment of spirits. To another, various kind of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit who allots to each one individually just as the Spirit chooses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Acclamation. 2 Thessalonians 2.14 Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you have learned, whether by word or by our epistle. Alleluia, alleluia. God has called us through the good news that we may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Gospel, John chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding about a hundred liters. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine, and did not know where it came from, 
Though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine, after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this he went down to Capernaum with his mother, his brother, and his disciples, and they remained there a few days. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.